I grabbed the box from back behind there. I just kind of wanted to show you. Um, if you look inside that, that clear plug right there, you see a black, a green, and a white. Typically, your black is your hot wire. That's your power. Typically, your white is your neutral. And of course, green is ground. Okay. So this is a 10 gauge, three wire, um, you know, extension cord. Okay. <clears throat> and down at this end has, you know, some fancy three prong deal or whatever. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. I needed a hundred feet of this 10, three wire and it was cheaper to buy an extension cord and it's a heavy duty one. It's got, you know, a nice, uh, a nice casing to it. Um, it's good in, you know, extreme temperatures. Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to cut that plug off and I'm going to cut the other end off. I guess that'd be the receptacle end. That gets cut off. So I'm going to have, I'm going to have, uh, you know, a cable with no, with no plugs on it. Now, because I'm a cheap bastard and, you know, I'm never, I don't really need a hundred feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my tower up. I am going to cut one end off. Okay. And I'm going to attach it to my, to my wind turbine. Remember, <clears throat> remember those three wires right there. Those three wires connect to these three wires. And again, it doesn't matter which color is to which or anything like that. As long as those three wires are connected to the any of these three wires, all three of these wires, and at the other end, when this gets cut off, you'll have three wires that goes out into the uh, into the trailer to that rectifier, which is above that brake switch. There's a terminal block there, and you put those three wires into that terminal block. Okay, now, and that's how you connect your windmill generator to the trailer to get into the, uh, you know, the, the charge controller or to the rectifier first, then to the charge controller. So what I started to say was when I connect this, to my uh, PMG over there, uh, my wind generator, and run it up the flagpole all the way to the top, and then give myself down on the ground approximately the same amount. I'm thinking I'm going to be right around 50 or 60 feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm then going to cut the 50 or 60 feet out of this 100 foot and that 